so today I'm gonna be doing my hair I'm just gonna put some twists in my hair cuz that's quick simple and easy um, this is what my hair is looking like blow-dried um, I had put some leave-in conditioner heat protected and I blow dried it and I just put it under a bonnet for like two or three days and I just took my bonnet off and this is what we're working with so I picked up two packs of these right here and I'm sorry I picked up four packs of this hair and I got it short like this because I don't want like long hair right now. I just want it as short as possible. It's 12 inches. Um, I would have rather had 8 inches, but they didn't have 8 inches. So I'm just going to work with that. I usually get 16 inches. But the shorter it is, the quicker I get done. And I can just, you know, do it and be done. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rubber band method. I'm just going to separate all of my hair into little rubber band boxes. And then I'm going to crochet the hair under the rubber band and then just proceed to twist down. So, yeah. So it's eight o'clock at night and I'm just now getting started on my hair because I just got my youngest son in bed. But I did one twist. Um, this is how long it is. I absolutely love this length. So most of my hair is probably gonna be like shoulder length or a little bit um, below it. But I love this. I love this color. This is number four. And I'm just gonna show you how I put it in my hair. So here's a little strand right here. Um, it comes with two bundles and a pack and each bundle has 10 of these strands in it. So basically each pack of hair that I have has 20 strands of hair in it and I did get four packs just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to do this one right here. I meant to get my brush. Hold on. Okay, so my brush is upstairs, so I'm just gonna have to use my comb. But like how um, my natural hair gets fuzzy at the ends, I just like to make sure that it's detangled before I start um, twisting it or anything. So I'm just going to take the crochet hook. And what I've been doing is I've been going at a downward angle. That's just some of the gel right there. I've been going at a downward angle so that it'll um, try to camouflage the rubber band. So right here, I'm just going to go down, I'm going to go in, and then to me, this is the hardest part because the hair is kind of frizzy, so you got to hold on to the, to the middle really tight like this, and then get it looped on, and then close the little latch, and bring it through. Now, this is hard for me because you only need, well, the way I'm doing it, you only want to bring one side through. So you got to kind of hold it and know when not to the, let the other side go through. See, this side is trying to go through too. Okay, now. You got some weird little strands. Okay, now, let's see. See, some of this can get confusing. Takes a lot of patience. Okay, so once I've gotten it through, see, this didn't go all the way through. See, this all this didn't happen when I did the first one. <laughs> okay, so once I've got it through, I just kind of let it hang to make sure both sides are even like this. And once I'm sure that they're even, okay, I take my hair and I split it into two like this because it's one side is going to go here and one side is going to go over there. And then I'm going to use this gel right here. And I'm gonna apply it to my natural hair just to smooth it down. So I'm putting some on this side. 
and then I'm gonna put some on this side. All right. I'm going to put my hair in between both of the um, pieces of hair like this. I'm just gonna start to twist This is just the gel right here. That'll dry up and disappear, that little white residue. Just keep going. I love this length because it doesn't take long to get done with one twist at all. Super quick. I'm used to the ones that go like down to my armpit and they take all day and all night but this one I'm almost at the end I'm gonna probably have to get some scissors and cut the end because of the way that I yanked it earlier and it got the end freezy like that the end is not supposed to be freezy like that but I did like yank it and then I usually just twirl it with my finger like this and let it go I'm gonna go grab some scissors I'll be right back all right, got some scissors. I'm just gonna cut it right about here. And what I like about this hair, even if you cut it, it I've never had a problem with it unraveling. I know I look a little crazy right now, but, and this side looks a little longer than that one. But once I get like my whole head going, like, oh, and then I can pull it up like this into a ponytail and you can't see the rubber bands or anything like that. All right, I've gotten four of them done now. I would say each twist is taking like maybe between one minute and one minute and 30 seconds to get done. So, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna be looking at, <laughs> I'm in my living room because I'm gonna be looking at TV while I do my hair. And I got my mirror right here, so yeah. All right, so this is actually the next day and um, I did a little bit last night and I got tired and went to sleep. So I'm gonna show you um, I just did a little bit in the front here and I am actually going to, um, I'm going to go ahead and try to use the, the shine and jam on one of my twists and see if it makes a difference. And the reason I say that is because like some of my twists look okay, but like some of them, like this one right here where my hair is getting more dense and thicker at the top. Um, you can start to see the thickness right here. So I'm going to do the shine and jam just to see if it will slick my hair down some more because I am getting up here towards the crown now. And I just want it to be as sleek as possible. Um, like some pieces like the, like the smaller pieces, I have no problems at all with the gel. No problems at all, but the thicker pieces right here, the gel is not holding it like I was thinking it would with the smaller pieces. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one on camera so I can see if I should continue with the gel or just go ahead and switch over to the shining jam. All right, so this is one little, as you can see, you, you see how how big the square is versus how much hair is in it. So the square really isn't that big, but my hair is, is thick and it's dense, which I absolutely love. So um, it's a lot of hair, even though the square is not super, super big. So I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle. And let's see. I'm gonna feed the crochet hook through. That's my microwave. I'm um, gonna use this hair right here. I had tried um, crocheting it at the end and pulling it through so that I wouldn't have to pull the whole strand and that was a disaster. So I just start from the middle. I, I have started twisting it like this so I can get a better grip on it and get it on the hook, close the latch 
bring it through. And then bring one side through. That wasn't perfect, but. So now I got these two pieces right here. I'm gonna take my hair and split it into two. And I'm gonna just pull it where I can retighten that rubber band. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slick my head out with this shining jam and see. Cause I noticed with the gel, um, my hair is still pretty puffy, um, especially towards the end. So I'm gonna see. The only thing I was scared of with the shining gel was I didn't want it too straight because I still wanted to be able to wrap around the twist with no problems. But let me just add this on here and then we'll see. All right, so here go my two pieces of hair. They're really flat, except right here at the roots. So I'm going to try to put my hair kind of like inside the twist like that. And then on this side, I'm going to do the same. Try to just put my hair, camouflage it like inside of the twist as much as I can. All right, so now I got my two strands of hair. I'm just going to go ahead and start twisting. I can tell it gets thick right here where my hair is ending off, like where it's really puffy at. I'm just gonna keep twisting down. I love this hair because it wraps around itself, so you don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry about it unraveling or making sure the ends are feathered or anything like that. All right, almost at the end. I try to make sure I go as far as I can. And then once I can't go anymore, I just twist it around my finger like that. And I'll just cut those little ends off. But my scissors aren't in here. So this is what this one is looking like. Um. I'm just trying to decide if I want to continue with the jam over my entire head or the gel. So. I guess it's okay. I'm just looking at a piece like this. Like this piece right here was also in the top of my head and it didn't have any jam on it. And you can tell it's puffy here and here. And this is the one I just did. And this is where the puffiness is at, but it's not as noticeable as this side. Mm -hmm. 